Yo, Tony. <coughs> yes, Justin. How you liking this weed? It's fucking sick, dude. Best way to start off the day. Fuck yeah, man. <coughs> so, Justin. Seth Rogen has a very funny laugh. <laughs> he sure does. Yo, man. We should try to imitate Seth Rogen's laugh. I'm down, Tony the Tiger. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, God. That was bad. Okay, now you try it. <laughs> uh, nice, man. So, what should we do now? Want to do some more weed? Dude, is that even a fucking question? Of course! That's what I'm fucking about, motherfucker. Happy 420, everybody! This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and in celebration of 420, I am here to review Pineapple Express. Pineapple Express is written by Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen. The film is directed by David Gordon Green. And the film is about this process server and this drug dealer. His drug dealer, played by James Franco. Life is just very ordinary for Seth Rogen as this process server. Things are going well with his girlfriend, played by Amber Heard. And he's having fun, doing weed with his drug dealer, and then one night he witnesses a murder. So after he witnesses that murder, it now involves him and his drug dealer now out on the run. So before I review Pineapple Express, I'm gonna let my guest star Justin watch his movies take the spotlight. So Justin, take it away. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for allowing me on your channel here to celebrate 420, which is a celebration that I'm pretty sure you and myself do not celebrate. But it's still fun to talk about a really great comedy of Pineapple Express. Now, I personally do not smoke any weed, and I don't participate in any of that. I never have. But I still find a lot of enjoyment in Pineapple Express. Right off the bat, the one thing I do not really care about this film is the overabundance of weed and I know it's a movie about weed and the type of brand, Pineapple Express, and all that. But whenever I watch a movie that involves weed, I just get really taken out of the movie. And a lot of the scenes I do get taken out of and I don't really care for uh, regarding this movie. But throw that aside, I love the comedy in this film. I think James Franco and Seth Rogen are perfect pairs. They work really great together. Their humor, they really understand each other. They really act like best friends in this movie. And I love the other characters in here, like Craig Robinson and Danny McBride. It's really over the top and I really like that they're all great friends and it really shows in their humor, the story, the acting. It all really feels natural, which I really appreciate about uh, these actors is that they give us such natural performance that we're able to laugh because they're having fun with it as well. This movie has such a great progression. It just starts off really calm and then it gets really, really, really crazy towards the end. And it's just really hardcore and it just slaps a smile on your face that you're watching these people who are stoners that probably won't be able to do all these other things and they're just having a lot of fun with it. So Pineapple Express, I don't appreciate all the smoking and the weed, but it's that kind of movie and it's stoner comedies are not my type of films. But if they took all that out of there, I would really love this movie a lot more. The jokes are really great. The action's fun. The craziness is there. It's all really great. So I'm going to go ahead and give Pineapple Express a B. Thank you, 22 Tiger Dude, for allowing me on your channel here to celebrate 420. Like I said, I don't ever celebrate it. I'm pretty sure you don't as well. But it's still fun to talk about a great comedy. This is Justin Watches Movies. And remember, guys, I have it. Tony has it. Tiger Power! Thank you so much, Justin, for reviewing Pineapple Express. Now, like what Justin said in his review, I don't 
do weed. I'm just not someone that's into doing that stuff. I don't judge anyone that does. Me personally, I don't care for doing that stuff and because of that, I don't really care for a holiday like 420. Pineapple Express, whether you're a stoner or not, honestly, I think you can still have a really good time with this film. And in this case, I had a great time with the Pineapple Express. It's such a funny movie. It's an awesome time. And I think the reason this film is so good and really succeeds as being this R-rated stoner comedy is because of the writing, the direction, and because of the chemistry between Seth Rogen and James Franco. Seth Rogen and James Franco were seriously great in this film. They played off of each other very well and I think they are one of the things that just make this movie work so well. It's the chemistry alone that makes Pineapple Express such a great comedy in my opinion. A lot of shit happens in this movie, like seriously, shit is always happening in this movie and it's just so funny in my opinion and the writing as well is just terrific i love the writing in the pineapple express it's crazy but it's a lot of fun and the writers you know evan and seth they knew the kind of movie they wanted to make and i think personally they succeeded at making the kind of movie they want to make which is just a uh, crazy stoner comedy. The movie's very well directed by David Gordon Green. I thought there were a lot of really good shots into this movie. And not only were Seth Rogen and James Franco great in this film, but you have other standouts like Craig Robinson. Craig Robinson, he's the antagonist in this film, but he is just so freaking funny. Nearly everything this guy says or does it's just so funny, in my opinion. Craig Robinson really kills it here. He was very, very memorable in this film. Amber Heard's really good here, too. She plays Seth Rogen's girlfriend. And there's a plot with her and her parents that I thought was just absolutely hysterical. Those that have seen the movie know why. Danny McBride even made me laugh hard in this film. And I'm not a Danny McBride fan, personally. I just don't really care for his comedy style, just don't really find him all that funny. But in this film, he was actually very funny. I actually really like Danny McBride in this film. Gary Cole's really good in this film, the one that plays that cop that is working with Gary Cole. I thought she did a really great job as well. Everyone and their performances honestly looked like they were having a blast in the Pineapple Express. And that's probably why I love this film so much because the writing has so much energy to it. The direction has so much energy to it. And the performances themselves from honestly basically everyone had so much energy. Everyone knew the kind of movie they were going into and they were just having a blast. And the action sequences, oh man, which are just so over the top but so awesome at the same time. Those were handled very well. I thought they were filmed very well. And the comedy in this film is honestly handled very well. Most of the humor in this film really had me just laughing so hard because of the chaos that these characters get themselves into. I don't really have a lot of problems with Pineapple Express, but one of the problems I did have with this film is, you know, just like with basically any comedy, the humor doesn't always land. You know, it's, it is going to have its misses here and there. There's not a whole lot of misses, however, in this film. And even if this film does have a miss, it's not like it's bad. I'm not cringing. I don't feel awkward. It's just like, you know, whatever. Amber Heard, I felt like she wasn't given much to do in the film and honestly I wish that she could have been involved with um, Seth Rogen and James Franco's adventure rather than just staying at some motel just to be safe. There could have been some funny things for Amber Heard to do if she tagged along with Seth Rogen and James Franco. I really liked her. She had some funny material in the film, but I do think she could have had more to do overall. And really the last problem I do have with Pineapple Express is that it does do the whole cliche of, oh, we were never friends, we're not friends anymore. Like drama that happened 
happens before more chaotic situations were happening in the climax of the film. It just didn't feel needed in my opinion. I didn't feel it was necessary. Overall though guys, Pineapple Express is an absolute blast. Yes, it's an R-rated comedy filled with nothing but pot jokes, but I mean, when you're watching a movie called Pineapple Express, a movie about Seth Rogen and James Franco enjoying a weed called Pineapple Express, you know, what do you expect? It's a great stoner comedy and you don't have to be a stoner to enjoy it. Seth Rogen is hysterical, especially during his freakouts. I think his freakout scenes are his funniest scenes in this movie, in my opinion. James Franco is fantastic. Craig Robinson, Gary Cole was really great. Ken Jeong, I think I forgot to mention him, but Ken Jeong was really great in this film. I loved a lot of the comedy in this film. It has me entertained from beginning to end. It's a hilarious movie. I love this movie. It's so great, in my opinion. And I'm going to give Pineapple Express three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Pineapple Express. And I would also love to thank my guest star, Justin Watches Movies, for coming here to review Pineapple Express with me. He's a very cool dude, you guys. He loves movies. He's a very great friend of mine. So if you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!